Let's take a look at the net ionic equation for Na2SO4 plus KNO3. This is sodium sulfate and potassium nitrate. First thing we need to do when we write net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. Two sodium atoms here and just one here. So if we put a two here, that works out. We have two sodiums, but now we have two nitrates. Let's put a two in front of the potassium nitrate. Two nitrates now, but we have two potassiums. That's fine, we got this right here, two potassiums here, and then we have a sulfate, sulfate. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So compounds with sodium in them, they're gonna be soluble. So these are both soluble, and compounds with potassium, almost always soluble. So everything's soluble, and when that happens, that means that nothing happened. We put these in water, and they dissolve. They dissolve and dissociate into their ions, both of these. But the products that we would get, they're also dissolved and dissociated into their ions. So there's no difference between these and these. There's no change and there's no reaction. So for this, there's no balanced net ionic equation because no reaction takes place. This is Dr. B looking at the equation, the net ionic equation for sodium sulfate plus potassium nitrate. No reaction. Thanks for watching.